Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will walk you through some of the updates we've seen in the sequencer tool in the latest version of Unreal Engine. Nothing too dramatic, but these changes can definitely add some speed and efficiency to your workflow. So let's dive in and get started. Here I am inside the Unreal Editor. In the first section of the video, let's talk about optimizing the space. There are few ways to improve the viewport space when you have the sequencer open on your level and even optimize the space within your sequencer pane, especially if you work from a laptop or if you don't have a second monitor on the side. In Unreal Engine 5.5, we have this anim detail which has been updated and that allows you to see the properties of the control that you are selecting. What does this mean? It means that you can put the sequencer curves, dock it right next to your sequencer and with the help of the keyframes that you see here, you can go ahead and directly adjust your keyframes on the fly. So you can go in here, select this keyframe. I'm in RY, rotation Y, and I can start adjusting my keyframe based on the scenario that I have in mind. I can directly go in here and select other controls and it is going to update a sequencer curve. Again, it brings all the tracks, then you can get to the track that I want let's say this keyframe right here and again I can start editing it without feeling the need to go to the sequencer and access this section right here. So if you feel like this works for you just go ahead and hide that and in that case you have keyframes in a more of a dope sheet style where you can navigate and reposition them but in terms of adjusting the values and the properties you can totally go to sequencer curves panel and adjust it directly here by selecting just the attribute that you want and without feeling the need to go back and forth between the two. So that's one way of saving space in your sequencer level. I can always go in here and bring this back. Another challenge that I have is some of these extra buttons that I tend not to use or rarely use. There are cases when you use all of them. There are cases when you don't use mute or solo. So we have lock, we have solo, we have deactivation button, we have keyframe button, we have add to the section which kind of changes the mode or the blender mode from absolute to additive to override and let's say you've brought everything even in here in my scene camera actor I can enable or bring in path event audio and there are times when you're done with bringing assets into your sequencer and you no longer need them well, there's a nifty tool that I believe was added in Unreal 5.4 and it's within the view options where you can go to columns and free up some space. Let's say I do not want to lock any tracks from this point onward. I can go ahead and deactivate that track button. I can deactivate solo. I can deactivate mute and edit and add that plus button goes away. I never use this color chip where you can change the color of your track honestly so I can easily go in here into column and even deactivate the color picker. So that alone is going to free up some space for you where you can maximize your working area and minimize this section right here if you don't want to fully collapse it. Another way of making the work area more manageable is by compacting them. So you can again go into view option, go into view density and go from relax to compact and it's going to make each track a lot thinner and gives you more access to more tracks in your view. So these are the kind of tricks that I always use to maximize the space if need be. 
In the second section, I will share some tips to help you locate actors and controls much faster within this sequencer pane. While it might seem like a small improvement, believe me, saving even a few seconds here and there can add up significantly on a large project. As an animator, any tool or technique that boosts your efficiency is worth incorporating in your workflow. The first tip is this search button. We have at the moment spine 02 control selected. If you want to get to thigh, just type in thigh and it only brings the thigh control. You can select that, bring it into your sequencer, of course, selecting the channel that you want, bring it into your sequencer and start working. Another tip to find your assets much quicker in the sequencer is to turn off auto expand option and use isolation instead, which has been added to Unreal Engine 5.5. So let's put that into practice. Every time I select a control, I jump into my control and the main rig auto expands. You can see these number of controls are now occupying my space. Every time I want to go back to my mannequin body control track, I need to scroll all the way up. And it's because by default, the auto expand button is on. So if I go into view options within my sequencer, turn off this auto expand nodes on selection. And from this point onward, I can go ahead and select a control. It's not going to auto expand anymore. You may say, Reza, hang on a second. We still need to expand it and find it. Well, with that selected, use isolate. And that is going to just isolate the body control for you. Or if you have something else, you can turn on and off isolate and it's going to only isolate that control for you. Alt Q is the option for isolate. Let's say you just want to focus on these guys. You don't want to see scale or location because, well, I can check in my sequencer. We don't have any animation on them, so I don't even need to see them. Use Alt W or hide from this tiny bar and you only now see your rotations and you can switch back to your sequencer curve and continue with your animation with the help of updated anim details panel. So these two are extremely useful, Alt Q and Alt W and on the keyboard, they're sitting right next to each other. If you wanna bring this back to where you were, Alt E is going to show all. So if I select my mannequin and press Alt E, I'm back to where I was and this tiny icon does that for you. So we call this display actions and they're extremely useful, works beautifully with this auto expand node set to off and you can find whatever you want to look for with the simply help of this shortcut right here, which is a huge time saver. So just to recap, either use search to type in if you want to directly interact within the sequencer or select a control and use the display action buttons to only isolate that control. You have a focus now, you bring things into sequencer and continue with your animation. Final tip, to locate actors and controls much faster is to use this updated filter in Unreal Engine 5.5. So you can see I have my skeleton, I have my control rig controls, and I have the scene camera in my scene. If you just want to see your camera, use the filters, go into camera, and then you can focus only on your camera. No, you want to focus on only your skeletal mesh, and now you have your skeletal mesh in your scene ready to go. Let's say you just want to focus on controls and control rig controls and only bring control rig controls into the mix and you still can benefit from isolating your assets. So these are some tips to help you work a little bit faster while you're animating. 
Last tip is to use sequencer selection details panel, which has been added in 5.5. You need to make sure that it's on, which I believe is on by default. You go into view options, make sure sidebar details is ticked. Now you should be able to see that section here, selection, which you can dock permanently or pin if you want, but by default, it doesn't bring anything. What this guy does is when you right click on a track, you go to edit track and you have few options about your track. You have options like changing your display name, changing the color, even specify pre-roll or post-roll for this particular track, obviously based on the nature of your track, this right click option, edit track changes. Now this has been moved in here as well. So if I select this and quickly go in here, we have the same number of options and you can get to things a lot quicker as opposed to going here, go to edit track. Sometimes you have difficulty finding it. This allows you to work a lot faster and it's going to update itself. It's by dock it. It's going to sort of update the nature of what you see based on what you are selecting. Look at the camera. You can have options related to your camera to your Cine camera, to your rig or skeletal mesh based on the nature of the track. This brings you some options, some handy options where you can change a few bits and pieces and make that modification a lot faster. All right, there you have it. That was uh, a quick summary of some new tips and tricks and options that have been added into 5.5. Hope you found this video useful. Until the next one, see you guys later.